There we go. Packing the German team kit again. Haven't done that for a while, actually, since <laughs> last time I was in Copa for the World Cup last September. And now we're going back to Copa. But not for a competition. First time we're going only for a training trip with the German team for one week. So we'll just get all the essentials. Protein powder and chocolate. <laughs> Cooking knife. Maybe some quick toss. If we have one day to go outside climbing. Salad bowl. Little glasses, shoes, tape. Yeah, so the problem is we have no apartment, which means the whole team is staying at the hotel. And obviously, us athletes are a bit peculiar and special with our diet and our food and always going out for dinner is a expensive and two not very good so Chris and I have uh, got a very good plan on how to survive this weekend in Copa and uh, I think you'll learn more about that Chris has a, a new a new friend that he brought along <lacht> und Chris? Mhm. In Bundeswehrklamotten? Wie sich gehört. Mhm. So. Und was are you doing here? I don't know, I I love trains and pretty cool. No no Chris, you love training. Ah, ah oh yeah, thanks. <lacht> <lacht> You're at the wrong place. <lacht> yeah, I guess so. Uh, we're taking the train uh, to Munich. There we will take the bus, the team bus, to Slovenia. I think our first stop will be um, at the climbing range uh, from Dorman's Cottage. Nice. Yeah, it's, uh, I've heard it's a very, very uh, high gym. It's up to 20 and 20 meter and 20 centimeters, right? I think because it's of 20, 20. Really? I, I think so. Yeah. It could be. I have been there. It's really, really, really high. Good. So, Domin, why is the gym so high? It's recording already. Yeah, of course it's recording. <laughs> why is the gym so high? Because climbing is so fun that it can be endless, you know? Why not? <laughs> like, keep it as long as possible. Right? <laughs> Do you think World Cup should be this long? Yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Okay. Because lead climbing is about endurance. Always has been that. So, you want to say that if this would be a World Cup, the German team would be really shit, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very true, very true. Now, when did you build this gym? It was done on uh, 21st um, August. Na officially opened 9th, 9th of August, 21st. Okay, so two years ago. But actually, yeah. like the, I found that this big wall was finished on the April. Okay. And you have, I mean, it's up to your home gym, but you train here most of the time, or? Yeah, most of the time, but on the bouldering wall inside. So, yeah. yeah, this one is like I'm, when my father has a um, chance to belay me or so on, yeah. uh, then he belays me, but I do most of the training inside. Yeah. 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 Go. This is what we also need. But a bit better. <laughs> Impressed. This is crap. This is hard. You know this guy over there? I think. 
Is is it this like tall guy from the kilter board? Jan Hoyer? Is it? Von dem auf Geld. We're here in the climbing range, uh, Jim from uh, Dormant Profits, and I uh, will show you something over here real quick. Yeah, apart from probably being the highest gym in the world, like, <laughs> like 22 meters high or something. It, and that, I think there's also probably the hardest gym that there is in the world over here. That says 9B. <coughs> so Yannick, what's the plan? Uh, we will try the world hardest indoor route now, Yellow Godzilla 9B. But I can't flash it because I already tried it three years ago. Will he do a great job? I think there's a 50 50 chance he'll do the first move, first try. And I will try not to fall on the ground because there's some sketchy clips. Sounds like a plan. Please don't fall on the ground. You are impressed, Alex? Uh, actually, I am impressed. I mean, two clips is not too bad. <laughs> Thank you. 
Aliyanik. German head coach of the Leeds climbing team, Brezel. Welcome back. Activation day is over. What do you think? Nothing. <laughs> and with these words, we say goodbye. Bye. Shit, Chris, we're down to 16 tempers. Oh, that means? That means we have one emergency tofu. No. <laughs> so we have to handle one day with tofu. I think we have to. We have to schnick schnack schnuck who's eating the tofu. <laughs> <laughs> the emergency package. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> da, da, da. let me show you. Dig it in. <laughs> Rice hunger, 3,000. <laughs> so this thing will help us out with, with our dinner today, tonight. Sick. Sick. So what is it? Um, maybe it's a futuristic airplane. Just say why you fucking okay. bought it. Um, yeah, why? Because we're always hang out in some hotel rooms. Like this one, you mean? Like this one. And I mean, this one is a huge one. But, uh, and very often we have the problem that we have no, I don't know, no time for dinner or there's nothing around or you have some possibility to get some food, but it's shit. So I bought this thing so I can help me out with cooking rice, which is always, uh, I think, a great thing. And I can also cook some vegetables. And yeah, that's it. Nice. It's pretty smart. Well, I think we should uh, do a little episode about um, cooking in a hotel room. <laughs> what else you can cook in there? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to cook right. some trifle? Eh? <laughs> you have to help, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great idea. <laughs> Oh, Chris, did you forget to plug it in? <laughs> ah. I think star. No, oh, menu. Yes. Ah, stumbler. Here we go. No, I think it's uh, yeah, it will last thirty minutes. And what will it do? It will cook rice up for you. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit burnt, just how you like it. It cooked rice. <laughs> Didn't expect more. <laughs>